Heavenly Father, we say thank you. Thank you for life. Thank you for breath. Thank you for just having a ring of motion, Father, today. Thank you for right mind. Thank you for provision of food and clothing and shelter, whether it be a large amount or a small amount. We say thank you. Lord, we worship you for who you are. We worship you, Father, and all of you in your power and your majesty. There's no one like you. And we just say thank you that we have you to call upon. Lord, I ask for cleansing, washing of all sins that may hinder this prayer from going up into your most holy place like a fragrance of essence. And may you receive this prayer, O oh God, as I stand on behalf of your people and myself, asking for protection, protection against the wiles of the enemy who seeks to devour us every day. Lord, we ask for covering over ourselves, over our husbands, over our children, over our grandchildren, over our neighbors, over our friends, over our grandparents, over, Lord, the families of all over the world, over the nations, we ask for protection. Deuteronomy 31 verse 6 says, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you or forsake you. Now even, Lord, we thank you that your promises says you will never leave us or forsake us. You will protect us from all those who seek to demise us, to destroy us, to bring us down, to send a trap before us. You promise to protect us from them. And Isaiah 41 verse 10 says, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you. You will my righteous right hand. And I thank you for using your hand, O oh God, to protect your people from all the wiles of the enemy and his devices that he may use to keep us afraid, to keep us from moving forward, to keep us, O oh God, from challenging our foes and enemies they may seek to suppress us. You protect us, O oh God, from witchcraft and all kinds of voodoos and sorceries that may come into our homes. You put a shield of fire around us. You send your angels to encamp around us. You, Father, even send down even mighty, mighty angels, O oh God, when we're driving to protect us, Father, from mere accidents and near-death experiences. We say thank you. And Proverbs 2 verse 11 says, Discretion will protect you, and understanding will guard you, O oh Lord. We thank you for sending your Holy Spirit to give us the spirit of discernment, to discern people in our presence that are not for us, but that are against us. Give your people wisdom. Open their eyes, O oh God, to see, Father, who will lift them up and bring them closer to you and who will tear them down and bring them closer to Satan. We thank you for your pro your promises in Proverbs 2, verse 11. Proverbs 4, verse 6 says, Do not forsake wisdom, and she will protect you. Love her, and she will watch over you. And Lord, even now, empower your people with the spirit of wisdom, wisdom to see things that are around them, wisdom to see what will be ahead of them, wisdom to see what will be behind them so that they will be protected, Lord. Take away the spirit of, of foolishness that we may open our eyes to see, Lord, that if there is a trap before us, that we can see it and avoid it. Lord, we thank you for wisdom and knowledge that you give us, O oh God, to protect us, O oh God, from all the plans that the enemy may use to seek us to be destroyed. 
2 Thessalonians verse 3, verse 3 says, But the Lord is faithful, and he will strengthen you and protect you from the evil one. We say amen, O God. And 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13 says, No temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. He will not lead, let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. And Heavenly Father, we thank you, O oh God, that you will give your children, your young people, your teenagers, your youth, O oh God, that you created, O oh God, to see, Father, if there's dangers around them, to make wise choices, Father God, to escape the plans of the enemy that he may have set a trap for them to destroy their lives, to destroy their future. So, God, we stand on your promises, Father, in 1 Corinthians 10, verse 13, O oh God, to help us to escape the snares of the devil. Help the adults, O oh God, to be aware of things that may seek to keep us down and to keep us, Father, uh, fearful that we may not be able to escape the walls of the enemy. Protect us, O God. We seek for protection. Psalm 32, verse 7 says, You are a hiding place for me. You preserve me from trouble. You surround me with shouts of deliverance. And Heavenly Father, we thank you that you are delivering your people Father, for there's enemies around some of your people that are seeking to destroy them, that are seeking to keep them down, that are seeking them, their lives, oh God. And we pray for protection now in the name of Jesus. And Psalm 34 verse 7 said, The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. And Lord, who is calling on you now? Hear their voice, O oh God. Hear their cry that they may escape the wiles of the enemy, that you may send your angels to protect them. Send them as they may be going out, O oh God, among Father thieves, among wolves, among people who may seek to destroy them, among unforeseen circumstances. Father, protect them. Protect your people. And Isaiah 41 verse 10 says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteousness. Right hand. And Father, there's someone now on their job who's being under attack. And Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray that you will help them not to fear not, but to know that you are with them. And as they call upon you now, in the name of Jesus, that you will put a shield of fire around them, that you will grant them favor. And that, Lord, when they step in the workforce, Father, that there will be a light that will illuminate the whole place, Father. So in the name of Jesus, is anyone at the sound of my voice that is having someone on their workplace even in their homes, who is seeking to destroy them, who is attacking them verbally, who is attacking them physically, who is attacking them, oh God, emotionally, who is attacking them financially. We pray for protection. Even now, in the name of Jesus, remove that person from that presence, oh God, who is calling upon you. Give the person a breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Psalm 4. 6 verse 1 said, God is our refuge and strength and a very present help in a time of trouble. 2 Thelios, Thelios 3 verse 3, but the Lord is faithful. He will establish you and guard you against the evil one. Isaiah 54 verse 17, no weapon that is formed or fashioned against you to succeed it shall not succeed and you shall refute every tongue that rises against you in judgment this is a heritage of the servants of the Lord and their vindication from me declares the Lord so now Lord we thank you that your promises is sure your word is sure your scriptures is sure and we as a people call upon you for protection. As we go out, as we in, as we go in different places, as we go on the plane, as we go on, on boats, as we go into vehicles, as we go on bicycles, as we go on motorcycles, and any forms of transportations, 
we ask that your spirit of the living God will be with us and protect us. As we walk, protect us, O oh God. Protect those that are in cities and or in places that are have dangers around them. Those that are afraid for their lives to go out in public, afraid for people that may harm them or take things from them or rob them. Father, we pray for protection. We pray for peace. We pray for those that have to take trains and buses and are afraid, oh God, of being hurt by someone. We pray for protection. We pray for peace. Lord, we pray, Father, for your people in a whole. And whenever that they are fearful from, at the sound of my voice, I say thank you for your protection. Thank you for dispatching your angels to walk aside of them, to be with them. And we say thank you. We thank you for being faithful. We thank you that we have you to call upon when we need you. And you will be there. Thank you. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen.